Welcome to Will It Who. This today's video we're going to do unboxing all of my collection boxes so far. So as you can see, we've got season 12, season 14, season 17, season 22, season 23, season 24. Now, this is what is in the spine, but that I'm gonna review them individually and unbox them individually. So it's on to the next angle. So as you can see, this is season 12, so you've got Tom Baker, and you've got some monsters there. On the spine, it says Doctor of the Collection. Just that. On the back, it shows you some of the contents inside of it. So you've got Doctor of the Collection season 12, Bujo on Doctor Who, Archive and the Ultimate really Collector's set, and you've got Robot, The Ark in Space. Just move it a little bit further on. Um, Genesis the Daleks, the Centauran Experiment, I've invented the Cybermen, actually not in that order. Brand new special features, you've got Tom Baker in Conversation, Behind the Sofa, The New Making, um, Mercy 5.1 Sound, optional updates, special effects, Just the Daleks TV movie, Doctor Who Times, pre-production material. You've got, if you don't see it, starring Tom Baker, Elizabeth Sturden and Ian Martin with Nicola, Nicholas Courtney. And on the back, you just see he's got Tom Baker's face. It's got Doctor Who the collection. Just move it back a little bit more. There's season 12. As you can see here, this is uh, Doctor Who collection season 12 with it having the monsters. So that's Robot, the bug from Ark in Space, and Taran, the Dalek. And Cyberman, so let's take it off. As you can see, if you take it off, you've got the fourth Doctor, you've got the monsters with the same artwork. I love the artwork by these. So there's the spine, the spine's the same, but then you've also got the TARDIS going into the time vortex of the both Doctors. And then it's just that. So let's just unbox it this time. So it's time to open it. So here's season. So there's the front cover, as I've already mentioned. Take like the discs are there. So these are what we have. So we've got season 12, which shows Tom Baker and the robot. Next one is the Ark in Space. Shows the bubble wrap man and the monster. It's an entire experiment, which I think is a bit underrated. It's a very good episode. Potato Red Boy. Genesis of the Daleks, everyone's personal favourite. And Revenge of the Cybermen. With a bonus disc. I'm going to see if I can take this out. You get Tom Baker's face from the title sequence. I'm going to see if I can get it back in now. So that's all of them there. And then, if we look on this side, we get the TARDIS. Then we open it up. We get Sarah Jane, the fourth doctor, and the medic guy. I can't, can't remember what it's called. So you got the booklet. Put the booklet over there for now. As you can see, it's the classic um, TARDIS control room. As you can see, this is the booklet. So as you can see, there is the different monsters in the background. And then in the foreground, you have the companions and the doctor. Let me just put it down there. Sorry for the channel. 
So you've got Fourth Doctor, and you've got Sarah Jane, and you've got Ian, that's what he's called. Here we go again. Doctor Who, 12 years young. So I think this is just talking about the season in general. And then you've got the next page which shows you the features, robot, four episodes. Four A, like that's the section when it was released, all the special features. You've got some beautiful artwork here with the robot shrinking up and down with the doctor, his yellow car, and Sarah Jane. And then you get some filming pictures here. So this is a this is a decent episode. I've seen this episode, it's very decent. You've got the Ark in Space, which is four episodes again. You've got the Slugman. And you've got this beautiful artwork of the fourth doctor and the insect creature. There's insect creature and there's Sarah Jane. Then you've got the Centauran experiment. We've only two episodes, I think the first two episodes story ever. Or the first two episodes story in, I don't know. Ever. I think the only two story episode in Tom Bakes either. Don't shout me on that. Don't don't really know. So you've got the Centauran entering spaceship, you've got some production, you've got Ian. You've got this beautiful picture of the Centauran. You've got, I think that's the Centauran's uh, weapon. You've got the Centauran globe, so the ship. And you've got Sarah Jane. And the other jacket. Then you've got Jazz the Daleks, everyone's personal favourite. It's a very highly... Um, it's, a very one, it's a very highly rated episode. So you've got six episodes. This was like the death of the Daleks. You could have killed the Daleks in this one. By Terry Nation. You've got Davros... And the Doctor with some Daleks in the background. Then you've got Revenge of the Cybermen. And you've got Tom Baker, Cybermen, and it's like a planet. So there's a lot of ship in this episode. And then it shows you, like, afterwards, like, what other ones they did, like, in season 13. And then so you some bonus material. And at the back, you've got Tom Baker. So, that is it for season 12. Let's get on to season 14. This is season 14, so you've got. Tom Baker looks like a Sherlock Holmes with um, the robots from Robot of Death, the woman off um, the Hand of Fear, uh, the mask of Masku or something, I'll find out, is with him. And then that one's for the Talons of Wing Chan, which is, a per which is people's personal favourite. And is from the same costume as this one. So you've got the spine, then you've got the back. So you've got the mask of Mandragoria, which is I think that's what that monster's from. The hand of fear, which is Sarah Jane's departure. The deadly assassin, the faces of evil, the robot's death, and the towns of Wind Chan. Brand new special effects in conversation behind the sofa. Brand new audio. Who's Doctor Who? Who's Doctor Who revisit, revisited? Blu-ray trailer of probably the collection box set. Immersive 5.1 sound, in archives, starring Tom Baker, Lewis Sladen, and Louise Jameson. So then you've got the spine, and here it is again. PG, 8 discs. So, taking it out, we have this beautiful artwork. Which shows the same ones against us. Same artwork, same spine. However, the tat is a different one. So, this is a TARDIS. I think it's the same title sequence or a different title sequence. Might have changed it. I don't know. I don't watch that many Classic Who. Just excited to watch this season. Um, let's open it. Now, opening this up, we have the Doctor with Leia. I think she's called Leia. And you got the discs, so first of all, let's look at the discs. So the first one's the mask of Mandagori with the Seven Doctor, and then you got the Hand of Fear, the Doctor and the one so which I think is Sarah Jane. And you got the Deadly Assassin, one of the only episodes without a companion, or one of the only classic stories. And then you got the Deadly Assassin with uh, the only companion story, only one without a companion, I mean. Then you've got Leela in The Face of Eva, 
with uh, Professor Peevance. Then you've got the Robot to Death, which is on, that's the one I'm most excited for. Uh, you've got Talons of Wind Chen, that's another episode I'm really, story I'm really excited for. And there's another part of the Talons of Wind Chen, so them, because I think it's like 12 parts. You've got the TARDIS. And when you open it, you've just got Tom Baker's face again. So, and then we have this. I really like how they do these. So, got Lilo and the Doctor. Open it up. You've got the book. You've got the booklets contained. Open it up again. You've got the booklet. And then inside, if you can't see, there's interior of the TARDIS again. You can tell it's a new interior compared to the other one. More like a gothic one sort of thing. Then we've got the booklet. So, season 14. And you've got Mary, um, Sarah Jane, Leela, and some other pictures. Well, not it. And the Doctor, the Time Lord. So, has prophecies so it tells you a bit just a rundown and it gives you the mask of man Dagora which was which is four episodes seven and then you've got a beautiful artwork there as you can see of the doctor Sarah Jane and the TARDIS and then we get some other pictures before we get to the hand of fear which is another four episodes so this one's the final of Sarah Jane when she leaves. So we've got the villain and we've got Sarah Jane with the hand. So I think she turns into the villain. There's the TARDIS. I love the diamond in the background. I love it when the art actually fills the whole page. So then it shows you some scenes. And then it gets to the Deadly Assassin. There's the small artwork of the Deadly Assassin, which is the master, where he's decaying and dying. I love the design of that master. Best classic design of the Master. So you've got the Doctor, um, then above the Time Lords, and you've got the Doctor scarf and everything. So this is because this is the episode um, without companions. So he goes back to Gallifrey. There's a sinister picture of the Master. Then you've got the face of evil. evil. So this is the first piece of Leela and is the companion. Her debut for episodes. There she is and. And then there's her artwork. It's a minimalistic artwork. It's got Leela and the Doctor. It looks like a cave entrance they're coming out of. There's a cave and it looks like. And it looks like futuristic technology picture there. And then you've got the Robots of Death, which is the most excited for. Four episodes, you've got the robot, which I love that picture of. And then that's the beautiful artwork of Tom Baker's red theme, this red silhouette like that. Got two robots there with the people sitting there. Then you've got it looks like a fight between um the doctor and the robot death with him. Unless it's the the both like fighting each other and the robot gets in the way by the way. The talons of Wen Chen. So you've got disc six and disc seven, what's in both those discs. So you've got the doctor being Sherlock Holmes. And then you've got Leela there. And then that's like them two of the villains. I mean I love this lovely artwork of it. Uh, being the Doctor and then the main villain and the small dummy thing and I think that's supposed to be Layla or it's someone else, I don't know but I love that and then that shows you some more and it shows you after image of like what happens the years later and then that's the picture from the trailer of Luke Cheech and the Robots of Death and then you've got Tom Baker and some Time Lords in the background and then let's get on to season 17 Next off, we've got The Collection, Season 17. Now, I'm very excited for this season because of City of Death. So you've got Tom Baker again, the Dalek, Davros, and then the villains like Nimron from the Horns of Nimron. Uh, and I can't remember the others, but I know this guy is from City of Death. Uh, so that's the artwork. This was very recent, this box set. Tom Baker, and that is the back, which says, continue in your Doctor Who archive. Like, so just do the Daleks, City of Death, The Creature from the Pit, Nightmare of Eden, The Horns of Nimron, and Sharda, which is, Sharda's just been animated now. So you've got starring Tom Baker, Lala Ward, with David Briley. 
And you've got Sharda behind the sofa making documentaries, Doug's added tributes. Low Award interview, new audio commentaries and composition, update special effects, Tom Talks, Blu-ray trailer, and all that good stuff. And there's a let's open it and find out. So this is it. This is it without the sleeve. You have spine again. This time it looks like the tide's getting taken by something. And it has this. I think that's supposed to be the Master's TARDIS. I think the Master is in this season. Um, but it's all these. So let's check out what's actually inside. We open up side, we see a picture that we always see, like an image of a scene. And then we main focus on the discs first. So you've got Destiny of the Daleks with Doctor and Leela. Good City of Death, which I think is the French guy. I think this is a bit off. And then you've got the creature from the pit. And then you've got Nightmare of Eden. It's a very delicate soundtrack. Then you've got the Horns of Nimrod. Then you've got you got Shada, which is a very famous story. And then you got Shada and some ones too. I think if we take it off, you can just get Tom Baker's face. So this is it, and then we get to the get to the uh, booklet. Now we get onto the booklet. So there's a picture of the scene, as I said. Open it up. Looks like there's a scene of the booklet. So you got the Daleks, and then we open it up again. We get another Tardis and Terry before we get this merchandise guide. For some weird reason. I mean, if we just. Open it up, we get courts and umbrella. This is like the I think this is like the final set of like the fourth doctor's ties before it gets to the sixth doctor. I mean the fifth doctor. And you've got K9 there. So some nice work work, but let's get to the booklet. So to the booklet, we have this. With the fourth doctor, Rob Joanna, Dalek, I think with bombs. And these aliens, which I can't remember what they're called. Lovely out of season 17. You've got, it has a, a bequat of season 17. And it has Destiny of the Daleks. So it's four episodes. Tells you about the star record and everything that was broadcast. And then you've got Leela and the Fourth Doctor's Claws. And you've got beautiful artwork here of the Dalek, Fourth Doctor Leela, um, the aliens, and the. And then I think. That's like a black and white photo, I don't know. I think these are all black and white photos, yeah. And then he's them colorized. Let's make it better. There's Davros. And you've got City of Death for episodes. This is the one I'm most excited for. You've got the main alien there. You've got them. This is when like, the Doctor and Leela goes to Paris and just makes like a day out in Paris. And all of that. Then you've got the Roman guy, then you've got the alien. Again, and then you've got Creature from the Pit. So there's K9 blowing up the fire. There's all that going on. Yeah, not, not much, just like pictures of that artwork. And then you've got this beautiful artwork of it looks like K9 has been cobwebbed. You've got Roman and the Doctor, and you've got this random other person right behind her with the TARDIS. I haven't seen it, so I'm just going through little pictures and things. Nightmare of Eden's next, and it just shows you what's on the disc, and then it just shows you some more, there's the monster, and I love this artwork of its skeleton, so it looks like a TV screen, and the Doctor of Mars behind, is get, looks like it's going to get attacked by the monster, or someone's dead, or dying, and then you've got the, a good picture of them, the monsters, you've got the horns of Nim one, she looks literally, it just literally looks like um, men in People in masks. It's a good, it's a brilliant artwork, a beautiful artwork. With um, the main villain at the middle, and it looks like the new one, like the servants. And you got a nice black and white image. And then you got up to Shadow, which is the final story. You've got six episodes. So it shows you what's in each, contains with each. It shows you the iconics of that, which I thought that would have been the Paris one, honestly. But it is Italian, isn't it? I don't know. 
So we got that one. Then we got a nice picture. I like that. This this definitely reminds me of oh, what is that movie called? Um, where this uh, this woman uh, tries to find a baby, and it's got David David Bowie's in it, I think. And he's um, got long eyes from the eighties. Labyrinth it reminds me of Labyrinth. That's what it reminds me of. Beautiful. Artwork. And you got a picture of Romana. And you got a picture given it. It's basically says like next time or what happened afterwards. Then you got Roman and the Doctor and K9. Let's get on to season twenty two. So here we've got this one is not Tom Baker, it's now Colin Baker. So we have season twenty two, so we've got the holographic Dalek, we've got the Suntaran from the two doctors, the Cybermen, the Master, the Rani, and as I call him Big Fingers. So it looks like he's holding that remote control. You've got the spine, then you've got the back. It says, continue with your Doctor Archive, which it always has. Attack of the Cyberman, Vengeance of Valus, the Mark around two Doctors, Time Last Revenge of Daleks. Exclusive extended versions, behind the sofa, making a documentary, conversation, updated studio footage, sound, all that good stuff again. Starring Tom B Colin Baker, Nicole Bright, Pat and with Patrick Troutman and Fraser Hines, second doctor, second doctor's companion. So let's take it out, the slipcase, the sleeve. You get the true stunning artwork, as you can see. You have the back, which has mainly not differed. Then you have. Then you have the back, which this one is a scene from one of the episodes, obviously, where the TARDIS has been fixed and now it can change into anything. So, there it is. And let's get on to opening it. This is again the inside of season 22. So this is the first series for Colin Baker. Was it second? I think it's the second season of Colin Baker. So you've got Colin Baker there with Perry, season 22, Disc 1, Attack the Sidemen. Then you've got Vengeance of Veros. Then you've got another Disc with Vengeance of Veros. Then you've got the Mark of the Rani. Just focus it. Got the two Doctors. Doctor and Perry on again. You've got the two second Doctor and the two Doctors. Then you've got Uh, time lash with um, head, whatever I called him. I can't remember now. Nail fingers or whatever. Then you've got this one with the Daleks. And this is the Daleks. I don't think there's a bonus feature, but if you open it there, you have Colin Baker's face. So it's usually uh, the doctors. For the season the doctors in, it's uh, what the face is. So to the booklet. I'll see that off. So we have Colin Baker and Perry there. Doctor and Perry. And Snorn. Then you've got a nice artwork there. If you can see the Centaurians, the two Doctors. You've got Sidemen on the right. And then you've just got the TARDIS, which is the whole time. So I like how they changed it a little bit more. So that's the TARDIS now. You've got the meteorite. So I think it's the whiskey and everything. You've got Sidemen there. And let's get onto the booklet. Then here's the booklet, season 22, got Centaurans on there. It's a very thick booklet. So you've got Change My Dear, so you've got Colin Baker looking black and white. Then you've got Attack of the Sidemen, so I think this one's, so this one is like uh, where they're in Totter's Lane. There's a lovely picture of Colin Baker firing a gun or a sonic gun at the Sidemen there. If it looks like someone's getting attacked. Someone's getting uh, converted. There's an alien there, I think. That's Perry. It looks like they're in a mining shaft or something. And then that again. Disc 2, The Vengeance of Varos. It's two episodes. So Varos there. And then this is when Perry becomes a bird woman. 
gets mutated in the bedroom. There's Velos and there's a lovely picture of the Six Doctor. There's just loads of information. Then you've got Velos Guard. Then you've got the Mark of the Rani for Disc 4 and 2 episodes. And there's the Rani as an old woman in disguise. And then you've got this lovely autumn feel. Oh, like a Halloween -y feel. Like the doctor looks like he's been beaten up. You've got the master, you've got the rani, and you've got Perry, and you've got these lovely autumn leaves. And you've got Man of an Umbrella. And then you've got the master and rani. And then you've got the two doctors, which was three episodes. This is behind the scenes photos. There's the two doctors and then the companions, and the two tardises. This was when they're fighting the Centaurians in like Spain or somewhere. It's a European country for definite. Look at that ugly bugger. Alright, and there's the Centaurans that also look I've just realised. Why why do the Centaurans have like these beards, like small hairy beards? A bit weird. Time Lash, which has got that thing in it, blue man in it, and the nail salon guy in it. I love that artwork. Fiery guys in it. Which is so odd. So I'm gonna I need to watch that because it just looks so weird. Then you got Revelation of the Daleks. Uh, with the Daleks, literally. Then you got the holographic Dalek, as shown on the front. With the Doctor in his snowy vest, so that must be the snow one. There's the woman. There's the behind the scenes guy, and there's Davos, and it talks about the years later. And that's it for season 22, with the back being Colin Baker. So the next one is season 23. This one's a very unique season in the show, where it's like... Doctor Who Flux, where it's one big story, but the difference between this one is the their big stories get separated, but it's one big plot line. So you've got the Doctor, which is also which is again Colin Baker. You've got the robots, you've got the Time Lords, and you've got the Valiard. With um Oh, Varos is there, and one of the flower creatures. I really like that. I've the only I've only seen watched two seasons up to now. I do need to carry on watching them. So on the back, as you see, it says "Build Your Own Collection." The Trial of the Time Lord, because it's one big story. It's split into different ones. It's epic season long adventure, all fourteen episodes. You've got extended edits, Terror of the Veroids, immersive five point one surround sound, behind the saw for the writer's room, the Doctor Who cookbook revisited. Doctor's Table in Conversation, Unseen Studio Footage, Where Archive Discoveries, Blu-ray Trailers and a PDF fat Written Archive, like the scripts. Starring Colin Baker, Nicole Bright as the Companion and Bolly Langford, which comes in next Companion. So let's open it. This is the case. So as you can properly see now off the text, the, you can see where the, that's where they get held. In the court, that's the Gulfing court. You've got his um, book, probably testimony. You've got the TARDIS getting taken. And then it has literally the TARDIS getting taken from the Time Lords in the court. Because this court is in space. And let's unbox it now. On to the final Colin Baker series. So you've got, let's start with the discs first. So it's a bit of a nightmare trying to get these out this time. So you've got disc one. Child of the Time Lord Part 1 of 4, the Mysterious Planet, as you can see. So, let's just move this way. Then you've got Disc 2, Child of the Time Lord Part 5 to 8, which is Mind Warp. Then we've got Child of the Time Lord, so that 12, Terror of the Vervoid, which you can tell where the main villains, whatever those look like. Then you've got Try the Time Lords of 13 to 14, the alternate 4. Then you've got bonus disc 1 with the Time Lords and the Valiard. And you've got the Doctor and his TARDIS. And we open it up, it's just the 6th Doctor again. So, yeah. And then we got into the discs. And then we got into the uh, booklet, I mean, not the discs. Uh, there we go. So, we've got beautiful um, look at Colin Bacon, Pink Water. I think this was from the Ventures of Valos. You got the main image that was on the uh, front, which is the Time Lord, the Doctor, Perry, um, I'm going to like robot, and then, oh, 
inhuman and the Valiard. So we open that up and we get the booklet. Take the booklet out. Um, we get this. So not that much to look at. One of the worst size twos in my opinion. Simon wants the best one. But no. Now we get on to the booklet. Now to the booklet, so we've got obviously what was on the uh TARDIS or art. Then you've got the Sixth Doctor, Doctor Who One Trial, Trial of a Time Lord, part one, two, three, and four. Um just called that. It really is. So it looks like you're in the farmland. And you get these couches that get introduced later on. Veros. I mean not Veros, um that's the Valiard. And then you've got the doctor looks like that's the robot, that's the main villain. It looks like it gets controlled somehow. That's to be either the sofa. Of them all. And there's Valiard the Doctor. And you got the Child of the Time Lord parts five, six, seven and eight. And this one's the Varus one. Get the Time Lord again. You've got like the body of the one who turned to, and then you've got some return and you got a return four. And there's the beautiful could not work for that one. Get behind the sofa again. Child of the Time Lord part nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Personal favourite story of them. This is the introduction of Mel as a companion. And the other one's the death of or presumed death of Perry, which it isn't. But there we go. That's um, Veros. No, that's not Veros. That's the uh, plant monsters or whatever. There's Mel in this in an autumn background, like season one, of season twenty two's art. That's them looking somewhere. There's the two. There's some robotic guards. There's another person. And the Child of the Town art part thirteen and fourteen is it the finale. So we've got the behind the scenes, and then we've got the finale. So this is when the Doctor fights the Valiard. And all the hands come up. That just reminds you of season 9. So does that. And there's the Valiard. And then this is like the Great Battle. And the Master's even involved in this. And then we just got the bonus disc. Which shows you what it is. And them having a glass of wine. And then it ends with just Colin Baker's face. So that's it for season 23. Next up is season 24. And this one, make it up a little bit. This one, season 24, is very much an average season. In my opinion, an average season. There's not that much going on. So you've got the robots, you've got the Rani, you've got the Bannerman men, and you've got some monsters, which I've got. Season 24. So in this collection, the box set says. Time in the Rani, Paradise Towers, Dealt with Ban Man and Dragon Fire are the stories. All 14 episodes new restored. It's got exclusive extended versions, in conversations, behind the sofa, Ease of the Future, documentaries, the Doctor's Table, exclusive archive treats, studio and location footage, immersive 5.1 sound, sound sound, isolated music score, Blu-ray trailer and a PDF written archive that says Stan Sylvester McCoy, Bonnie Lamford and Sophie Aldred. Which are the doctors, the doctor and the companions. Taking this off, reveals the actual true art. So there's nothing that much going on. You've got his spoon, which is a part of the seventh doctor, in my opinion. You've got his iconic outfit. You've got the sleeve, which is just normal. And then you've got this time, I think it's from Time and Rani, where it looks like there's a laser point, a laser beam's hitting the TARDIS. So it looks like it's going to get fired, it's going to get blown up, or it's going to drop. So let's unbox the let's unbox season twenty four. Opening up season twenty four, we have Mel and the Doctor on one half on the left, and we've got as it is the discs. So let's see what they are. So we've got Time and the Rani, Time and the Rani again, but this one with Mel stuck in a bubble. Uh, Paradise Towers with the uh, leader, and then you've got the old woman fighting facing Mel. You got. Dealt with the Bannerman one on that disc, and this one here too, screaming. And this is the departure of Mel in Dragonfire, and the introduction of Ace, which becomes a very well-known and popular character. And there's Sylvester McCoy there. And let's get on to the booklet.
All right, so let's get on the booklet, which is in here. Obviously, we open it up. We have Mel, the Doctor, and Ace. We open it again. This is the first season of the Seventh Doctor, so you can see Mel and the regenerated Sixth Doctor, which is the Seventh, and you've got the TARDIS getting broken, and you get where time and the where time and the Rani starts, and that's it. Then we get up to the booklet. Do front work for the booklet. You got ears to the future. Season 24, this was the last Doctor before, well, second to last Doctor, the last Doctor we've got is on the final seasons before the show got cancelled. Time and the Rani, just the four episodes. So you've got the seventh Doctor there. And then you've got the um, showrunner at the time, I think, and Doctor Mel. You've got the Rani. Then you've got a nice lovely artwork of Dr. Rani and the monsters in the episode. And then you got Rani pretend to be Mel with Mel. See, this was like moving the 80s shoulder pads. There's the monster. I love the monster design in this. Sorry, it's like that. I could just hit. Let's keep going blow for some reason. So then you got Paradise Towers. Then you got the robot hitting the doctor. And then you've got this beautiful artwork of. Captain, it looks like, and facing off against the ducks and everything, and these weird mortal things, I don't know what they are. There's Mel with the old woman, trying to, like, I don't think kill her, but like face her. There's the doctor in suit paint, dealt with the Banner of Man three episodes. On this disc, this is Pink Man. And then you got this uh, artwork of bikers and stuff. This was probably in supposed to be like a futuristic 80s episode. Futuristic but like present episode. She looks futuristic. You got Dragonfire Disc 7 and 8. So this is the departure of Mel. And this was also the scene where we we met uh, one of the return cultures from season 23. And there's a guy who melts his face off in this one. There's the Dragonfire, there's the return culture with Sky. There's Mel, Ace and the Doctor. And then these are just a few more pictures, and there's, and there's Ace, and then that just makes it, like, at the end. And there's a picture of Sophie Aldred as Ace. Mel and the Seventh Doctor. There we go. So, that's it. My collection of the Doctor collection box sets. This is a long video because there's so many and I didn't want to put them individually or unbox them individually. So that's what you get in them. So you got the Tom Baker ones, which I've got three of. You got the Colin Baker ones, which is two of them. And you got the Sylvester McCoy, which is only one. And altogether there's six. So it's a nice even number. Don't know if I'll collect any more. It depends. So if you liked this, comment some more. What other Doctor Who boxings I might be able to get. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.